Okay, so first of all, I have a question for you. And that question is, do you practice your golf game? And if the answer to that question is yes, what I want to know is sort of how effective is that practice? Do you actually know your strengths and perhaps more importantly, your weaknesses? You see, the thing is for years, I'd come to a driving range and my idea of practice, well, it would end up being me hitting driver just as far as I possibly could. And that's no real way to practice. See, with no out of bounds, no water hazards, and no penalties for wayward shots, well, my practice was, well, let's say not very effective. The introduction of Top Tracer Range bought an entertaining and effective way of bringing a challenge to your practice sessions, and they've just taken that challenge to a whole new level. A new game mode from Top Tracer just might be the best way to sharpen your game off the course. It's Top Tracer 30, it's a 30 shot challenge, 90 shots, 21 approach shots, all from different situations. You just might find yourself out there in reality on the golf course. So I'm down here at Carden Park to see how my game shapes up in a Top Tracer 30 challenge. Okay, so from the menu page, you'll see there's a new game been introduced, Top Tracer 30. And in there, once you've entered all your details and handicap and all those other things, and you've picked your flag, um, in terms of aim, then you are good to go. And what this will effectively do, these 30 shots will be thrown at you in random, different yardages, like I said, different situations, and you'll be assessed along the way. And you'll notice in this bottom corner, you'll get a performance handicap, one that indicates how you are performing in relation to your handicap. So it'll be interesting to see how we get on. It starts off with a drive. It says it's all about both accuracy and distance and game management. So all those things are taken into consideration when they assess your performance. So wish me luck. Right, so the challenge starts off with a drive we can see uh, where we need to be. The question is, uh, can I hit that fairway? Now, I am also told it takes into account all the wind direction, everything else, so it's uh, really interesting. And what I can tell you straight away is that it focuses the mind significantly. Like I said earlier on, I generally come to a driving range and start to see how long I can hit this driver, whereas now I'm concentrating on a flag and a fairway, and that's a whole different situation. and much more like the one we find outside on the golf course. Anyway, here goes number one. I think that's a pretty good start. Slightly down the left-hand side, but that's okay. We're just skirting on the fringe. I'm happy with that. So, driver first off. Question is, what does it throw up as the next challenge? Okay, so now it changes. So now this is an approach shot. 165 uphill. It's such a good way of practicing this. Yeah, because yeah. it really mixes it up so much. <laughs> Your driving's been good. Oh, 56 to the flag. I love this. I'd play this all day, could be here all day. Right, so the first shot it's asking me to look at is 136, two foot uphill, bunker between me and the flag. I'm gonna keep it a nice, easy, smooth nine iron is the plan. Well, I would hope that's really good. It's great to see the ball flight. We're right at the flag. Well, we gain strokes gain was plus zero one nine. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I'm sure it's all going to be to do with my total assessment in terms of my own performance and evaluation. So nine iron is just telling me I can see from the screen. I'm switching back to driver. So I'm going to hit quite a few more shots. Don't forget there's 30 in this challenge and I'll see how I get on personally. Right, 29 out of my 30 shots gone. I am, uh, I've got my final shot is a wedge, it's 131, and we'll see how my overall assessment uh, comes out. What I can tell you is it's been very realistic in terms of the challenge. I love the variety of shots and leaning, uh, looking back rather to my bag, I can see I've used pretty much, I would say eight or nine clubs out of my 14 clubs 
have been put to use. So it's a real good varied challenge and certainly asks a question of every aspect of your game. Right, last one, let's see how we finish up with this wedge. That was a little bit thin, but at least it's online. Right, so that's it. My Top Tracer 30 challenge is complete and I'm about to make my way to the first tee. It's a great way of warming up. What it did do was tell me that my game wasn't in great shape in terms of many areas. And you can see from this screen, my, uh, my performance handicap was as high as 24. So I didn't do terribly well. But like I said, what it does is it indicates where you went wrong and a couple of wayward shots. I found the water a couple of times and it really punishes you in terms of that uh, shots lost. So I clearly have got plenty of areas to improve and I want to get back on again. Now the other good thing about Top Tracer 30 and Top Tracer in general is it doesn't depend on the weather because it looks like it's about to start peeing down. So my final thought is this, if you want the 100% guaranteed best way to improve your golf game, then it's without doubt to practice. And the thing that I found that Top Tracers is a really effective and enjoyable way of making that, uh, well, the bit we don't really like practicing. Well, I don't certainly, but I've certainly enjoyed that Top Tracer 30 challenge. So my advice is, if you want to improve your game, get down to a driving range that's got Top Tracer in it and start that Top Tracer 30 challenge. And uh, hopefully you'll do better at it than I did. Right, it's time to go. The first tier waits. Thank you for watching. If you've not subscribed already, then please do so. Hit that like button and give me your feedback and thoughts on Top Tracer in general. Are you using it as your practice tool? Right, I'll see you soon.